Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the new guy, Ultimate Star Wars. It pretty much has everything except for the Force Awakens. Uh, but that's pretty much a new collection of Star Wars, so I don't really care. This is like the original. Um, and it's pretty much, and it's pretty, it's, it's forwarded by Anthony Daniels, who was C-3PO for every single movie. Um, and it, it's hardcover and it has a really good texture. It's not like normal hardcover textures. And it's kind of like squishy. Char uh, so it shows you that it has character and creatures, locations, technology, and vehicles. Um, I look at technology and character and creatures the most. Um, I don't really look at locations that much. Uh, and let's look inside it. I've only had this book for like three weeks, so I don't, so I haven't really read it because I was reading some other book that, and, um, let me just get the camera to work, so, let me see if I can fit this. I have to fit this into the case thing. So it has contents. Well, before that, I, it has these pictures. I'm gonna have to show it to you like this. I don't know. And before that, it just has the princess and it just has droids. Battle droids on the front page. And if you look really closely, there are stormtroopers on the side. Um, and this is how they meet C3PO. Uh, it's a f and this is a forward by uh, Anthony Daniels. Introduction with Darth Vader's helmet. And this is the character and uh, creatures part. It has the Clone Wars and the Star Wars Rebels. So, yeah. Like you see that this, that isn't Star Wars, this either. This isn't actual Star Wars. That's just the Clone Wars. This too. Um, and that. And this, and this, and that, and this. But then this, this, this. No, this, this, this. And that. Wait, let me just see the. No, these three are uh, Star Wars. It's all really mixed up together, but it's mostly Star Wars, like right here. This is all Star Wars. Darth, you know, uh, Darth Vader. Uh, it's when Luke Skywalker was born. Uh, this is a message from Darth Vader. This is Star Wars Rebels. Um, I really don't know anything about it. And this is Star Wars Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. And this is all Star Wars. And this too. So, and this is Darth Vader. If you could see that. Um, and this is Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, and this is pretty much how it goes. This is Qui Gon Jinn. He's from the episodes. This is Emperor Paplin. Um, this is Padme. And Mildela, and this is departure from Tatooine, and this is when Luke's, uh, Anakin Skywalker goes and blows up the Death Star, um, and this is Jar Jar Banks, 
Um, and it always has a quote of these guys. So this one's Yosa guys fall bad. Uh, and this is I will come back and free you, Mom. I promise. Anakin Skywalker. And this is Padme a million dollar. I will not consult a course of action that will lead us to war. And she pat mm, your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side. So it always has like this quote. And I have the episodes right now. And this is a part where the fishes get eaten by bigger fishes like that part from the episode. R two D two. He's from pretty much every single movie. Um, and one surprising fact is that uh, inside R two D two is a uh, is a, is somebody that can't that's really really small and he can't really grow. Up. I forgot what that was called. I think it's like growth like broke. And yeah, so. This is R2-D2. Um, yeah. Darth Mill. And he is in the episodes too, if you can see right there. He's on the episode and this is the new Darth Mill from the Clone Wars. This is Anakin Skywalker, and it says, uh, someday I will be the, I will be the most powerful Jedi ever, and that's kind of true, but he's like second, Luke Skywalker is, and, um, yeah, and it has a timeline at the side. I forgot to mention that. So this is the, the, the Clone Wars, and it shows Anakin first. Um, and this is a boat no confidence. And this is the Clone Wars. And this is C-3PO. He looks really shiny on this page for some reason. Okay. And Anakin Skywalker made him just saying, and he, everybody has a timeline, except for like these guys. But like important people get uh, a timeline. Jabba Hutt, he only gets a quote, but he has a full page just for him. This is Battle of Genosis. This is Yoda. This is Mass Windu. This is Caddy Mundi. And this is like all sorts of guards. And it's two Jedi's right here. Um, and this is like pretty much Clone Wars. And it says, I'm sorry Master, but I'm not coming back. Uh, and there's Django Fett right here. There's pretty much everybody here. And this is, there's another droid right there. Um, and yeah, this is a Clone Trooper page. This is Boba Fett, one of my favorite guys in it. And he, his quote is obviously, he's no good to me, Dad. That's always his quote. Um, and right there. Uh, and yeah, he has a full page too. And this is the Yoda Trials. Uh, it has a lot of these. Um, and this is Count Dooku. And this is some warriors that were in the Clone Wars and uh, the episodes. 
Uh, this is Captain Rex. I really don't have no clue who this is. Uh, this is Ash J. Ventress. I have no clue who this is either. Like, now you fall as all Jedi must. I don't get this. And this is Anakin's choice. This is the sad part how Mash wins to dies. I hate that part. And this General Gravius. He's one of my favorite droids. But I wish there was one that is on the good side. That is on the Jedi side. And this is Eska Tano. And this is some um, rebels and like yeah. And this is just Clone Wars except for this. And except for this person. And this is the Liberty Dies part. Which is when Anakin Skywalker becomes a, Je a Jedi. So, I have no clue who this is. I have no clue who that. Wait, yes I do. I, th I looked at it wrong. And I have no clue who that is, and that is. And that is. No, that's Anakin Skywalker. That is, and that is, and that is. And this is Chewbacca. Um, he's he's I he's one of my favorite characters. This is the Sazen Miles and uh, Bounty Hunters on this page. And this is Death Star Escape, one of my favorite pages. And I, I I forgot who this was, but I know he's a bad guy. Um. Luke Skywalker, yes, this is Luke Skywalker. And this is so sad. He said that I'm a Jedi like my father before me, but his dad is really Darth Vader. If you haven't watched the movie, this is pretty much a spoiler. But I think pretty much everybody has watched the movies. Okay. And yeah. This is Rescue on Hoth. Uh, these are Stormtroopers right here. This is the um, Star Wars Rebels. And yeah. Uh, this is Ezra Bridger. It's like kid Star Wars. So I don't get why they made it. It's really, really weird. I don't like it. I personally watched no episode, one episode, and it was so bad. Like, it doesn't have a good story. I'm sorry, whoever. I'm sorry, whoever made. to do this because yeah it's hard to see the whole page yeah this is uh, bad morals this is the bad guy for Star Wars Battlefront I mean not battle uh, uh, rebels and yeah this is also those rebels This is Vader's Revelation, which is pretty much such a sad part for Luke. Horrifying truth that um, that you could read is you really can't read it. And then it's Darth Vader's just like, no, I'm your father. Luke thinks his dad was just. A playing Jedi that was really good at being a Jedi. This is Lando Carson. He's Han Solo's best friend. And these are like droids and Miles and some troopers. And this is Han Solo. Um, and he's a fake bounty hunter. And this is like all Jedi's and 
good guys. And this is another Skywalker part and Luke Skywalker is telling Leo that they're a sister and she's her sister. And this is just the miles. And this is a Joys and Miles. So much of these. And this is Anakin Skywalker. Okay, and then this is Pete. And this is how they made it behind the scenes. This is one of my favorite parts of the book. Okay. And this is locations. Nabu. Battle on Nabu. Tatooine. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of things happen in two line. Um, Genesis. This is no fair. That's Anakin Skywalker getting rescued by Pat Line. And yeah, this is pretty much the book. And Death on Mortis. Um, training on the Go Ball. Uh, this is a really cool book. And uh, uh, look at the name, it's so weird. Kashyyyk. The Death Star. Lothal City. It's from Star Wars Rebels, I think. And this is them getting awarded in the New Hope. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, and this is the soldiers resting. This is Hoth, my favorite world in Star Wars Battlefront. Cloud City. It's, it's a really cool city and wardering. Django Fett fights this is Cloud City capture where they get a Han Solo and this is the Grave Pit of Carcoon. This, this is Jabba Hut. And this is the monster that tries to eat Luke Skywalker. Okay, and the next page is Endor, which is one of my favorite worlds. It is my favorite. It is my second favorite world. Um, and this is behind the scenes again. This is how it looked like when it was Luke Skywalker. So that's Obi Wan, Luke Skywalker, and C three PO. Uh, and they were just so the things that Luke Skywalker wrote on. They were just statues. And this was Endor, just like a room filled with trees and stuff. And yeah. And this is how small whatever it was. That's how small the world is. So really just a statue movie. And every single Millennium Falcon, it's not it's the smallest thing ever. Technology, this is the cool part. These are battle droids. And then the next page they give you better battle droids. You see Droid Blaster, it's not that good, that blaster. Look how this gun can shoot up to uh oh you really can't see it. It could hit four hundred and fifty meters away. That's how good that is, but it's a heavy blaster, so it's pretty hard to carry. Uh, and it's like two shot, one shot, done. So you really have to be careful. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much the book. I think if you like Star Wars, and this is another behind the scenes, and if you really like Star Wars, you should get it. And one surprising fact, all the lightsabers were just like, Foam or foam or like metal blades that were that had no point, that had no point, and just like, and that's how they fought.
literally, that's how they fought with fake with and lightsabers are fake. So literally, if you buy a lightsaber, it was never really used. It was never really a replica of the um of the things that were used in the movie. Vehicles. My favorite vehicle is the AT and T, and uh, I have it as in Lego. And yeah, this is pretty much all the vehicles. And this book is really long, so I'm just gonna have to skip some parts. And this is a scout trooper, my favorite trooper. And then my second favorite trooper is a clone tr uh, shock trooper, but it's not here. Uh, just saying, the Force Awakens isn't here, like I said in the beginning. And yeah. This is my favorite uh, ship. Well, no, second favorite, because it, no, third. It's first the Millennium Falcon, then the, uh, I forgot what this was. No, that thing, this thing, and then I like the uh, X-Wings. And yeah, this is pretty much the book. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and it has an index, so if you guys want to find, like, a blaster, um, blaster or something, yeah, that's what you should look at. And if you play Star Wars Battlefront, which is my favorite game, it is the best blaster that people, I, my favorite blaster is the E-11 Stormtroopers blaster. But it's the rebel kind. So if E11, it looks different on the Star Wars Battlefront. But in this book, it's a white and a blue, a white and black, which matches some troopers. But in Star Wars Battlefront, it just says E11 and it's just black. Okay. So bye, and thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get it, you should. And and it says. I'm a Jedi like my father before me, Luke Skywalker, at the end, but it's like the worst quote, because that's not even true. So, bye. Thank you for watching. And this is the Star Wars Ultimate Guide.